growing concept. Today's video is going to be about non-traditional growing grants that people are getting. All these schools, um, municipals, and private organizations have good intentions. They want to teach their, their kids, their students um, STEM, right? Uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to get these skills down for their students. And what better way to do this than to teach people how to grow food for themselves, right? And this is a good idea. And I think all the people involved have good intentions. I'm gonna use aquaponics as an example because I've seen many of these organizations getting grant money for aquaponics. And I wanna tell you why it may not be such a good idea. And before you do, you should have a neutral party like myself at Eve Growing who can talk about the pros and cons. Email me at evegrowing at comcast.net and we can talk. Bring your growing professionals to these projects that you're planning and we can all talk it out. And why it's not a good idea for um, most schools or municipals to, to go into the aquaponic aspect altogether. You know, aquaponics and aeroponics and hydroponics, all these non-traditional growing methods have a purpose. They're very important for urban living to help get rid of these food deserts. But save it for the commercial growers, save it for the professionals. If we want to teach students and teachers how to grow food in inner cities, there's a better way. There's a far better way as far as I'm concerned. Um, and right here, you're seeing it. This is called the EVE Growing System. EVE is the acronym for Eco Vertical Evolution and it's a combination of my many years studying and building these non-traditional growing methods. I started getting excited a few years ago with um, soilless growing, all excited. I couldn't believe it. That's how I got into gardening in the first place. My father, a great gardener in his own right, grew traditionally and he was always a gardener since I was a kid. He had the best garden on the street, but he had his kids. He had three boys and, a, and two girls that would do the weeding and stuff for him. So I said to myself way back when, I don't care to ever have a garden at all. Well, I'm thinking soilless growing. How easy could it be? It looks so easy. And I did them all, the aquaponics, aeroponics, hydroponics. I built all kinds of different systems, right? And it wasn't easy. And there's a lot of stress involved with it because you get your, you get your plants to a certain level and a lot can happen, a lot of mistakes can happen. You know, if the power cuts out or the pump fails while away, your garden is ruined in no time, especially on a hot summer day when you have no soil to keep it moist. Um, they go right away, a couple hours, it takes nothing to kill a whole garden. All summer's work, gone, right? Well, these growing professionals um, with their amazing systems talk about some of the advantages they have in as far as for urban growing in which they're right you can grow in buildings you can grow on rooftops parking lots and there's one key thing they're missing and with stem I think it's very important the science aspect of stem the art of composting composted soil you don't need these not non-traditional growing methods because they don't use soil they're soilless right so Eve takes the best of traditional growing and non-traditional growing and combines it for a growing experience like no other. And we've just touched on some of the amazingness that these joining them together is going to bring to our urban setting, especially the ease of it all. You know, I go visit these aquaponics that they, they've gotten this money for, grant money for. I go visit them. A lot of them are just empty. You know, once these growing professionals leave, it's not easy even for the growing professionals to keep their aquaponics going. And what they're hoping when they get you to, um, to, to put their aquaponics with this free grant money for the most part, what they're hoping is that they, you will hire them to grow for you. Kind of defeating the purpose of a, a city that feeds itself in a sense, right? If you want a, a people to grow food for themselves, these non-traditional growing methods are not the way to go for small farms or small block farms even. Keep it for the growing professionals. Folks, this is Eve, okay? I'm growing in composted soil. The art of compost is not lost with the Eve growing system. Inside each tower, those of you who know, who follow my videos, composting worms comfortably live and multiply. Okay, so we're totally talking organics here. Inside each tower, composted soil, verma ca um, worm castings. It's all stuff you can get for free. Even the towers, it, the reason why Eve is so good for urban settings 
is all these towers materials can easily be attained in urban settings you don't have to go buy buy these towers that people are selling they get these patents for these set this this plastic invention they think and it's really going to be like some workout equipment that never quite lives up that expectation because there is a better way think of um, the science aspect is the growing aspect okay the technology aspect of it notice all these towers are on wheels in the future mobile gardens are going to be the key to be to be able to move your towers around easily why i'm not attached to any pumps or electrical cords this this, this look how green this basil is from growing totally organic this it can go uh, a few days you know when you first start out you can go weeks a week and a half but now that it's nice and grown out it requires that you water it every but, but in august i can water this particular plant probably every four days I got some mint back there, as you can see, how invasive mint can be. That guy's gotta be watered every day. This thing has been beautiful all summer. Mint, I got so much mint. You restaurants um, who are hoping to have your rooftop gardens, contact me because this is the way to go. Where you don't have to run all this damn, each, like the tower garden. I'll use it for an, ex for an example because as you can see, this looks pretty similar to the tar tower garden, which is a hydroponic system that runs liquid down this tower. Each one has a little pump inside that pumps water up and down. You don't need that with this. This is all composted soil and I'm doing the same exact thing. Precious irrigation comes out at the bottom. It comes out more nutrient rich than it went when it was initially added because again of the composting worms. Another important aspect to the S, the science aspect of STEM. In my house here, we break down all organic matter and feed it to our plants. Uh, whether we hot compost it. I, I have this system for called vermenting. Google that thought it, for inner city. Again, like Eve, it's designed for inner city growing. Vermenting is about apartment living where you can do the same thing hot composting is doing as far as breaking down organic matter. Instead of getting rich compost, which is very important, you're getting worm castings and then you can add that to your compost that you get. So that's just another aspect. I know I'm getting off the subject. This is the way of the future. Mobile farms, people getting back to composting. Here we got people that have garbage disposal. They throw all their organic matter and it goes right to the sewers. What a waste that is. With these other non-traditional growing methods, the hydroponics and aeroponics especially, you're tied to people to, for your growing machine, first of all, and you're also tied in to their um, commercial synthetic fertilizers that you're kind of obligated to buy because it's very complicated on many levels to make your own so it's easier for people just to buy their own so you're tied into a commercial entity for that with Eve growing every student once they learn the very simple principles of Eve growing can start making their own towers they can start thousand is a sunspot and it's easy to learn guys it's easy to make and it's cheap and we get people growing again. We get people enthusiastic about growing their own food. And we start, I picture one day as you fly into LAX, you know how you look, X, down. You know how you look down and it looks like a desert. One day we're gonna look into LAX and we're gonna see an amazing food forest because everybody's gonna know how to go back to growing food. I got peppers here. These are sweet peppers that are doing amazing, right? I, I have to water these guys every five days, I think they can go. Why, why is that? Why can I go so long? because the inside of this is designed that way. And we will be talking more about the basic mechanics and I will be showing you that. So stay tuned, of course. Look at this. So we got our, our green sweet peppers here. Look at these cucumbers. These right here, are just regular house plants right here, right? That's just a house plant. That is another great thing, right? Well, um, these cucumbers here. Vertically, right? Oh. We're growing vertically. Organically. Now I have a problem here. I have a problem here with um, cucumber beetles, right? Those striped nasty beetles. They get on my my cucumbers. It looks good like this, and all of a sudden, a couple days, it looks like it's all dried out. What? Those are cucumber beetles. And for years, I was wondering what the heck happened, right? Anyway, this year I cover it, and that stops the cucumber beetles. An organic remedy to get rid of it. So with Eve growing, you could cover your crops very easily. And every, this would be like a, um, its own little greenhouse, right? These are all started from seed. And look at the strawberries. 
and the, the strawberries and um, leafy greens down here, right? We got strawberries. This will one day be a tower. As it comes out the top, you poke them into these holes. That'll be a tower one day. I talked about the basil. Amazing how that grows. You go over the hair, over here. And I want you to see this here, guys. This is some more leafy greens. I got some kale at the bottom. Houseplant wants to go with them. See, these, these guys are like some intelligent animal, right? And one day we're going to design it. Okay, the stem. We got the science is all this, or, or um, the science is the growing aspect of it, right? The technology is how we're going to mechanize these guys to come out from the field to the grower who's waiting in a cool, comfortable place where all the growing needs are met. The farmer doesn't have to go out to the field anymore. We don't have to run tons of irrigation because our aquaponics and our vermiculture and our growing professionals are by the sink in a cool, air-conditioned place where the towers, the grow towers come to them. How amazing is that thought? That's where Eve is going to go. And I, my main thing was, and I want to be clear about this, is if you're going to go get these grants, these aquaponic, aeroponic, hydroponic grants, you really need to talk to a neutral party like myself and why it may not be a good idea. Again, there's so many machines out there that they're constantly running and they're growing nothing, but they feel a need to keep it running and throw maybe a couple plants in there. I've got a couple good examples of that. Of that. It's not necessarily these growing professionals fault who installed them. I believe they had good intentions. Okay, and I think in the long run, the people who go that route are gonna get, um, they're gonna get discouraged with growing and we're gonna lose these people. We need people growing food. We need Urban farming is where the money is. That's where the jobs are gonna be, okay? And Eve growing is going to be at the forefront of that urban farming movement. Eve, no, <laughs> Eve growing is at the forefront of it. You just don't know it yet. So that's all I have to say for now. God bless, over and out.